Good evening and you're welcome back to the second half of the Business and Enterprise show and tonight's guest is still Paul Hayes of Hayes Experts. So we had a, a little look at, at, at the past and we went down memory lane with some old equipment, push button televisions, but things have changed completely now. What sort of product range have you got now? Well, Colin, as time developed, we, we moved slightly, although we still continue to put television as our, as, our core, as our primary business, we developed very much a white goods business. We became involved in selling white appliances, well, appliances which are traditionally known as white goods. So washing machines, refrigeration, uh, dishwashing, built-in appliances, all those kind of domestic appliances you see in anybody's kitchen. So we began to specialise in that. Mm. And um, when we moved out to the new shop, uh, our current shop out on the Dublin Road, we were able to put in... I like that. You plan for expansion. That's only your current shop. Yeah, current <laughs> shop, yeah. Until we move on. Um, and it, 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 it allowed us to develop and to, 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 to move into that area very, very strongly. So that's our core business. That's what we would see as our bread and butter. Day in, day out, that's what we're selling. Is um, People need maybe one television in, in the year, but throughout the year they might need a dishwasher, a fridge, a washing machine, mm. um, a microwave, the cooker's not working, that kind of stuff. So we're, we're, we're involved in a, in a broad spectrum. Yeah. You know? But things are moving on very, very quickly in our business, and we're now very much into IT. So we're selling IT products all the personal devices that um, young and, and now not so young people are, you know, there's an awful lot of, of, of grandmothers out there. What do they call them? Silver surfers? Yeah, and, and, and silver surfers are, are, are now on their tablet and they're on their Facebook and they want to, you know, they want to explore the net and they're, they, you know, they're, they're using it for everything. Hmm. Um, they're using it for their shopping, they're using it for everything. And it's not just, as we all assume, the six-year-old kids who know how to use them. Um, it, it, that may be the generation that have got used to it in, in their infancy, mm. but you know, older people have, um, have copped on that they, they need to use these devices, and we are now big, getting bigger in, involved in, in selling. And of course, helping the uh, sell these uh, tablet devices is probably the wide availability of, of free Wi Fi now, and yeah. um, the slow but sure rollout of a national broadband. I know there's areas in, 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 in Cavan where broadband has not reached. I know it hasn't reached certain parts of Bailey, but anyway, that, yeah. that's another story. Yeah. But uh, the, the free Wi Fi uh, in towns and in shops, and in, in, that obviously helps. Of course, these because products. a few years ago, like five or six years ago, when people started to use laptops, well, well they couldn't. It didn't matter what part of the country you were, unless you were in the middle of a big town, you couldn't use these things yeah. properly. But now access is available to everybody, and, and and people just don't want one device. You know, they they have a mobile phone for, you know, a smartphone. They can use it on the internet anywhere. Mm. They possibly have a laptop or, and or, um, a tablet, and then there's probably a family computer as well. And gathering any, dust somewhere, PCs yeah, they yeah. they went out of favour very well, quickly. Not, not a lot of people like to still have the family one, you know, where basically everybody would come into a, a, a room and and just use a family computer. It could be a laptop, or it could be an mm. Apple, a big Apple screen, but they're still available and people are using them. So, with with technology changing to the extent that it's changing, it's definitely been it's a growth area for us. And um, with the help of expert, we are definitely we're we're in it, and we're going to be getting bigger in it. We're going to be expanding. Um, in fact, we're we're planning at the moment to expand the range that we have, and by by the end of the summer, we'll have uh, um, a much wider range, better displayed, and at very very competitive prices. Fantastic! Of mm -hmm. all the IT products, what's yeah. the best seller? Well, we, we're Apple agents at the moment, so we sell quite a lot of the Apple iPad. Um, and then there's a demand for cheaper tablets. Hmm. So, you know, tablets that would um, sell around 100, 150 euro mark. There's, there's a market for them. But I think people are beginning to think, oh, I've already had one of these and now I'm my second one. And what about getting a good one? So, hmm. Apple, Samsung. The, that's the way forward. That's what people are starting to turn And, back and, to and not only are people turning away from kind of normal ways of doing business, everything's not a computer, even books are getting a bit of a hammer. And, and the Kindles, are Kindles going well for you? Yeah, well, we've, we're, we've recently started to do the full range of Kindles, um, and uh, they're beginning to take Is off the Kindle off Fire available down here yet? Yeah, we oh. have the Kindle Fire and the Kindle Fire HD. Um, and um, uh, what, what, does, what does, do we say, the Kindle Fire HD go at it? 
Um, the Kindle Fire is 159 and the HD one is 219. Um, the, um, the basic Kindle is, is mm -hmm. about 90 or 89 or, or, or thereabouts. But uh, as you and, get and, better and, as you... And, and a Kindle you know, machine... Is that literally just for downloading books, or no, does it no. have tablet element as yeah. well? The dearer ones, the Fire have, and the Fire HD, they have tablet elements. The basic ones just for downloading books. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's something that's going to be fairly big. They're more a Christmassy type. Thing, yeah. You know, but we, we we got a lot of demand for those last Christmas when we weren't actually supplying them, but now that we are, we're looking forward to being yeah. able to satisfy that demand. Um, now, you say services is, is a big part of your business as well. Yeah. Did you have to upskill your service staff when you went into IT? Because TV repairs is, is a certain technology set. Um, white goods is another set, but IT is, is different completely as well. Well, let me just take a step back from that for a moment. <coughs> The, the core message that we have, our, our slogan, for the want of a better word, um, on our vans at the moment is uh, serving the community for more than 50 years. We don't just sell products. We, we, we kind of look upon them as the way that Nissan ad used to be on TV, the car going out the door and the guy crying about sad to see it go. Well, we're not sad to see the product go, <laughs> but we're definitely glad to help the customer afterwards. And, and that applies directly with everything we sell. Um, so one thing that we're very conscious in the, in the shop is that when somebody is good enough to give us their money, we want to look after anything that arises, any situations or problems that arise afterwards. We can't con control the fact that a problem may arise, mm. but we definitely can control what happens afterwards. So a good bit of our day is spent every day and s handling people's uh, service issues from a, a, a door, that's, a knob that's broken on a dishwasher or a washing machine to a, to a tablet that's freezing or a television that the station is missing on or whatever the case may be. But every single day, uh, a good 30% of our time is spent mm. on customer issues. And that um, would probably, the big area that would set you aside from the big name organisations, uh, if you go into unnamed companies like Curry's, sorry Lillian, um, and if you have a problem and you come back, well, we, I have to get your manager for that and the manager's not here and then they have to contact the, uh, the the supplier and leave us your telephone number, we'll get back to you. Whereas somebody buying something from you, first of all, it, it's Paul here, Paul owns it, so if anyone's going to fix it, it'll be him. Yeah. Uh, and your goal is to fix it keep the customer happy and as, as Fergus Quinn would say the boomer I'm having coming back he got he was happy okay he bought a, a fridge off you the handle fell off it but rather than it turning into a disaster because the handle fell off my fridge my god you should have seen the way Hayes looked after me and fixed it up so when he wants a cooker he comes back to you whereas some of the retail the larger uh, retail and again the international company the UK ones their objective is get money off you get you out of the door and move on to the next one would that be a fair assessment it's of your, good, your, your it's a good advantage. Summary. Yeah. yeah, thanks, it gets your job in the shop. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, a, that's a very good summary. Um, unlike some of our, made, our, our bigger competitors, um, and I don't mean locally, I mean nationally, mm. um, yeah, we, all of the expert shops, and we in particular, we, 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 we pride ourselves on the fact that we, we, we're serving a local community. Like we, we want to sell to them and we appreciate their business and as I said, when they give us their business, we want to look after them. Mm. So if it means calling out to them, um, if it means calling out to them on Christmas Eve at seven o'clock because the thing that they got didn't arrive or that they wanted didn't arrive or or, or, or that it's broken down or that it's broken. Or they forgot to get batteries, whatever. which was we'll, always my one. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be there. We'll, yeah. That, that's what we want to do. So the first thing when the phone rings on a Monday morning and it's a, a problem with a washing machine that is broken down, we want to know about it. We're not hiding from it. We want to know about it. We want to be able to help and we're straight in and we try and solve and we spend the day solving it. Mm. If it means ringing engineers, ringing suppliers, if there's an argument over it's in guarantee, it's out gar outside guarantee, what are you going to do about it if it's broken down a couple of times? We're on the customer side immediately because we want that customer back. We need them. We need to prove to them. Thanks for buying from us. Yeah, we want you again, and this is how we're going to show you that we look after you the next time. So, uh, yeah, very much so. We're, we're as I say, serving the community. That's what we do. So that's um, obviously your personal ethos. How do you get that down to the staff? Is there training courses that you yeah. send them on? Absolutely. 
But the first thing is when anybody comes into the business or when I, I, I would have interviewed everybody who works for us, um, I, I emphasize that. And then when they come in and they start to work for us, um, that's the show on the phone. This is, this is what, what we do, and this is where we write the problems in, and this is how you solve it, and this is who you contact, mm. and this is what we do, and everybody knows who to contact, and, and then, you know, if problems escalate, they'll, they'll arrive at my desk, yeah. and um, generally that's it when, 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 when they get this far. This so time. when your company ethos is that the customer always comes for us, it, it really does, it's not uh, like, uh, again, we, we had some multinationals and their motto is our customer is very important to us, and yet if you actually deal with them on the coal face, it's a completely different kettle of fish, and that is, I suppose, one of the beauties of being a independent uh, business within the expert organization. But that's exactly the point I was just mm. about to make. You have a direct um, relation with we, them, yeah? We have the, the benefit of being global, of being, of being multinational, of buying at the right prices, of being able to sell at the right prices because we've bought at the right prices. So we have that side of it kind of sewn up. But we also have the benefit of knowing every boreen in County Cavan. Mm. We know every road. Um, we nearly know every house. And we, we deal with people on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, they're not names and numbers. There's no postcodes. We get to know everybody. And um, yeah, when they become our customer, um, we have then th the interest to look after them. And, and we do. And that's what distinguishes us differently from, you know, the, I won't mention any of the bigger competitors, but they're there, some from Australia, a lot of them from England. Um, and you know, people can give their money to an English company if they want. Um, we'll match their price. By and large, normally we'll match their price, but we'll give them far more. So, if if anyone wants to buy good quality electrical products at a very reasonable price and get a great service, talk to us in that camera there and uh, tell tell our viewers where they can go. Okay. Well, his expert, um, Dublin Road Cavan and Market Street Coodle. Still in Fruitill, and we haven't mentioned that yet, uh, or at all, Colm, but we're still there, and we're here to serve the county of Cavan, the, the, the people of Cavan who want to buy good quality electrical appliances at very, very good prices, and with a backup service that's second to none, we're the people. Um, just just before we finish, one thing that hit me there, if we if anyone can go in and buy something off you, but if you wanted something for your auntie in... Czechoslovakia. I don't know who has an auntie in Czechoslovakia, but it was the first country came into. Uh, could you arrange to have something sent over? Yeah. Nowadays, with distribution the way it is, that's not a major that's issue. That's not a major issue. Uh, yesterday morning, phone call from somebody in London wanted something delivered, yeah. uh, wanted something bought, delivered. Um, and if it works the opposite way, say somebody in we'll Australia want, wasn't coming home for Christmas but wanted to get a, a Kindle Fire HD for their niece for Christmas, could they contact you and, and it can all be done by that? Yeah, well, just uh, the exact same thing on that point. Yesterday, the person who wanted the, wanted the appliance sent to somebody locally, um, they couldn't get over when I said, well, I'll have it with them in an hour. Is that okay? He had to ring to make sure that the person would be there in an hour. But yeah, that's how... How, how quick transactions can happen nowadays. Yeah, and we, we you know, literally, that was London to Cavan, out the road and delivered all, all within an hour and a half. And another, another uh, two happy customers, customers that got it, and your international customer that sorted it out. Yeah. Well, that's it for tonight's programme. Again, my thanks to my guest, Paul Hayes. Uh, to, my thanks to David Van Staden, who was director tonight. Uh, Brian Daly, who's executive producer. Charlie on the desk. So enjoy the sunny weather. Hopefully it'll last, but we don't know whether it will or not. And see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.